Good morning. Uh, Chair Josie and commissioners of the Taxi and Limousine Commission, as well as uh, Commissioner Gia, how are you doing? Good to see all of you. I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. Uh, for those of you watching online, those of you in the audience, you can tweet me at Ben Kalos. I represent the Upper East Side, Midtown East, Roosevelt Island, and El Barrio. Uh, thank you for this important hearing and opportunity to testify to the TLC's proposed rules to establish a permanent e-hail rules for New York City. For my constituents, taxi cabs and livery cars are not a luxury, but an essential part of public transportation network. According to the 2014 Taxi Cab Factbook, yellow cabs provide an average of 485,000 trips per day to 600,000 passengers, moving 236 million passengers per year, with 90.3% of those pickups happening in Manhattan. With a single subway line that is over capacity and bus service rated worse in the city by the strap hangers, the Upper East Side relies on yellow cabs for public transportation. My constituents use cabs to go to work, meetings, doctor's appointments, TLC hearings, and everything else where transportation is essential. If you don't believe me, just try to hail a cab in the morning. Technology has recently disrupted the transportation industry, bringing many advances and efficiencies. The current rules as proposed by the TLC recognize the need for these efficiencies and innovation. To that end, I support these rules as a good start for government that must adapt to disruption and improving services for every New Yorker. Nearly two, year, two years ago, TLC authorized a pilot program to offer e-hails to New York City's passengers. According to a report by the TLC, which evaluated this program, even under the limited scope of the pilot, an average of 7,000 e-hails were received by participating drivers each day. Not surprisingly, 66% of these came from northern Manhattan and the outer boroughs. This data proves that most areas of our city could benefit substantially from an expanded e-hail marketplace to supplement our transit options, particularly areas where cars, cabs are not ubiquitous and street hailing is difficult. As we now seek to finalize rules for a permanent e-hail marketplace, we must ensure fair access, fair competition, and fair pricing. While the rules as a whole take us in a very positive direction, two key components are missing, an open API and a New York City TLC e-hail app. I propose legislation which does exactly that, and I urge this body to seize the moment and incorporate these changes into the rules while supporting legislation to codify your regulations into law. A universal app is only possible through a New York City TLC eHail app with an open application program interface or API that will allow both the city's app and any third party app to access and to eHail all 13,637 yellow cabs and 6,000 green cabs through a single button on their T and LPEP system regardless of the app used by the passenger. The TLC Commission must have its own app so that the riding public has the option of going through the TLC-based system. Only by creating a universal app with an open API can we ensure that there will be critical mass of vehicles ready, willing, and able to answer a call. This would not prevent the Ubers or Halos or Lyfts of the world. It would create an alternative through the already great yellow and green infrastructure. Under existing and proposed regulations, passengers or drivers are app-dependent providing a market advantage to an app with the biggest fleet. An open API connects all passengers to 19,637 cabs that may choose to accept e-hails, leveling competition so the best app can win, and creating a win, win, win for app developers, drivers, and most importantly, passengers. Currently, five apps are permitted to participate. Uber, Curb, formerly known as Taxi Magic, Veriphone, Creative Mobile Technologies, consolidated with mobile knowledge systems, and Halo, that withdrew from the New York City marketplace. In all honesty, I've only heard of one of these apps. For comparison's sake, on Google Play, Uber has between 10 and 50 million passenger app installs with 100 to 500,000 driver app installs, while Curb has between 500,000 and a million passenger app installs and 5 to 10,000 driver app installs. A passenger could install Curb. But good luck finding a driver using their app. That, driver is, that passenger is most likely going to try Curb app once, see that it provides no drivers, then move on to Uber, and so much for competition. Don't get me wrong, I hope all five are successful, but only an open API that makes all 19,637 medallions available to all passengers through all apps 
provide a truly level playing field where new apps can compete. While on the Taxi Dave show on WOR 710 AM, a yellow cab driver called in to share that he had picked up a passenger via street hail while both he and his passenger were attempting to find an e-hail using Uber. Regulations fail to require that apps display all available yellow and green cabs while protections provided under my legislation would require an app to display all vehicles. This prevents an app from hiding eligible yellow and green cabs in order to steer passengers to their own vehicles where the app company can earn greater profit. In a Christmas Eve email to customers, Uber announced it was charging customers a $2 booking fee to use its e-hailing app for yellow and green taxis. Regulations proposed by the TLC failed to regulate anti-competitive practices that disincentivize the use of yellow and green cabs in favor of using an app's own fleet. Regulations must adopt the same protections as proposed under my legislation, which cap fees on apps using an open API and provide a free option to every passenger through a New York City TLC e-hail app. Uber continues to defend its practice of surge pricing, including charging 2.8 times the normal fare to New York City passengers during the recent winter storm when the MTA was shut down, leaving many stranded. Meanwhile, according to the 2014 Taxi Cab Factbook, the average fare for a yellow cab was only $13.40, compared to $37.52, or 2.8 times that fare. The regulations failed to address surge pricing while protections proposed under my legislation would guarantee passengers a metered fare no matter whether conditions or demand uh, had increased. Lyft has accused Uber of bait and switch tactics. The regulations failed to address bait and switch tactics while protections proposed under my legislation would forbid apps using the open AI from discriminating against yellow or green cabs as well as from influencing pa passengers to use a vehicle that is not yellow or green. This would stop apps from hiding yellow or green cabs, from displaying splash screens, soliciting passengers to use other vehicles with or without incentives, or other anti-competitive uh, tactics. I have enclosed a copy of the legislation in addition to passing new regulations as amended with feedback I wrote as well as others. I hope to have a resolution from the TLC in support of my legislation would not only codify your regulations, but provide additional protections. I'd like to close by commending the TLC on the work you've done thus far to foster an e-hail marketplace in New York City. I hope it will continue its forward-looking approach by adopting these changes so New Yorkers are able to access a competitive and fair marketplace, and TLC has the ability to uh, make sure that every single New Yorker can hail a cab anytime they want to get where they're going as fast as possible. Thank you so very much. May I make a comment, Madam Chair? Thank you, Councilman, for that very detailed proposal. I must admit, I didn't understand all that technical stuff. I'm still on API, but um, I actually just got a new smartphone, and Uber was pre-installed, and I could not believe it. It was pre-installed on this Samsung phone. So I'm all for um, uh, encouraging competition, and it sounds like your legislation is very well thought out. I, I don't quite understand how it ties all other apps in together and what the logistics and technology is to make that work. I'm assuming you've figured all that out, um, or someone has. Tech, I'm, I'm a software developer oh. <laughs> and lawyer. Okay. So. Well, I, um, I think it, it, the proposal sounds excellent, and I think it'll be great for the city and the industry. Thank you. <coughs> Any other questions or comments? Are you asking for the city to develop an, an app itself, or are you asking the city to integrate all apps into some kind of platform? Two separate asks. Uh, the first ask, ask is for the TLC uh, to either build or license a, an app that would be the New York City branded app. So you know that it's trustworthy, you know it's safe, it's got the checkers on it, and uh, anyone can, can use it. And that being said, the technology marketplace moves so very quickly, so I know that the very best we can hope to do as a city is to build a baseline, a product that we know works, that anyone can use, that doesn't have any additional fees, and will just work. Um, but in terms of for the bells and whistles, I also understand we need to have a place where there was room for third-party actors like Uber, Lyft, or whoever chooses to enter the marketplace to compete. So the idea is, Every time a yellow or green cab uh, presses the I'm available for e-hails through their TPEP, LPEP system, that would go to a computer, and it would be listed on that computer, and that computer has what is called an API, 
and any, any app would be able to go to that computer and say, hey, do you have any cabs near 81st in York where Ben Kalos is trying to hail a cab? And uh, it would spit it back the same way to uh, the city app as it would to Uber or Curb or whomever. And in so doing, it means that all 19,637 vehicles could be made available. So um, the first piece is an app. The second piece is this API that would be open to all. Um, and uh, it would be something that the city had ownership over so that um, we wouldn't be dependent on a TPEP or LPEP vendor uh, to open up their own system. Thank you so very much. And uh, while I'm here, I just want to thank all the drivers for getting me and so many hundreds of thousands of other New Yorkers where they need to go every morning. Thank you very much. Thank you,